Hey guys, I wanted to do an update on my video that I did with the beheadings of the Echeverias because I did that on December 8th and it is now January the 2nd. So happy new year everyone and happy 2020, happy new decade. I want to show you what's happened since I saw you last. So I beheaded those Echeverias and if you remember, I placed the heads of each one just in a pot like this, just, and I put them in the shade. So what I want to show you is what's happened here in the last, it's almost been a month. So let me show you my first one. So I did two Echeveria Jennifers and then one was a blue Echeveria with bumps. I don't know the ID on it, but I really loved it and my hopes were to get all these guys to make roots and then have babies come out of the stumps. So first, let me show you what's happened with each one of these. Now, even though they've been in the shade, you can tell they're really dried out. In fact, there's a few leaves that I could probably just completely pull off like this one. Now this particular one is a Jennifer and I am looking really, really closely and I only see like less than a millimeter of a root coming out and there's no way you'll see it. Um, you can't really see much of anything on here. So of all the ones that I have, nothing has really happened on this guy or girl. So I'm gonna put that aside and now I wanna show you the second Jennifer. So. This is Jennifer number two. She was a little bit bigger. Now you can see she's a little rough looking over here. She's been in the shade and it's normal when you behead an Echeveria that they start looking a little rough because they're not getting any water. Everything's been cut off. But if you look underneath, I don't know if you can see, but here we have some root growth right here. Let me see if I can focus. So we've got some brand new roots here. So what I'm going to do tonight is place this in a pot of dirt. And I know that the end has been calloused over. So I know I don't have to worry about any, any rot, but it's got a brand new root. It's searching for water now. So at this point I can put it in a pot and start watering it. So that's Jennifer number two. I just need to wait longer for the first Jennifer. Now, let's look at number three. This was my big baby and this was the one I was most worried about because I only have one and I didn't really want to behead it, but at the same time it was getting very um, elated. Check this out, you guys. So many roots. So she's looking for water and she still looks pretty beautiful right here. So I'm putting her in dirt tonight and I'm gonna give her water. So I wanted to show that to you guys and then I also wanna show you the stumps. And I think to do that, it'll probably be easier if I turn the camera around. So I'm gonna cut this for a second and then we'll turn the camera around. I'm gonna show you the same plants or the stumps of those same plants so you can see what happened. So it hasn't been quite a month these are large Echeveria Gibiflora hybrids. So these are the big ones. So it's different for smaller ones sometimes, but I'm gonna cut and I'm gonna show you the stumps. So give me one second. Okay guys, this is a random video insert, but these are some of my propagations. So if you guys wanna learn how to propagate leaves like a pro, please subscribe to my channel and I will show you how you can have tons and tons of brand new succulents, just like this. All of these were just from random leaves and I've got tons of them. They're doing great. And I just wanted to show you guys because I have an entire shelf just of my props. They're doing wonderfully. And anyway, now I'm gonna get back to the beheading video. So just wanted to show you real quick. Bye-bye. Okay guys, so here is what my view actually is. There's my tripod. 
So here's the Jennifer that did not make any roots yet. So I'm going to put her back under the shelf until I see roots. Here's the Jennifer with roots. So I'm going to pot her up tonight and give her some water. And then here's the unknown bumpy. And this has a lot of roots. So I'm going to do the same thing, pot it up, give it lots of water. Now I want to show you the stumps. So here's our three pots with the stumps and the little Jennifer that did not make any roots. This is the stump of it. And I've been checking on it every few days and it didn't really look like much was happening. Um, I watered it, but if you look very, very closely, I'm going to try to zoom in on this. You can see down here, a baby pup is growing out of the very bottom. So there is a pup. It's finally coming out. I'm expecting more, but until then, at least we have this one. So that's going to be a new Jennifer. So back up to the next one. This is Jennifer number two. This just happens to be a leaf from um, an Echeveria, a shattering Echeveria that I had. So this is stump number two. And as you can see, there's a pup emerging from here. I expect more to come out of the other parts, but until then, this is what's happened in a little bit less than a month. So I've got one there. That's another Jennifer. And then this was the one where I left one leaf on, but I kind of tore part of the leaf off, hoping that that would elicit some growth and Honestly, this hasn't really done anything at that point. However, over here you can see we have a new pup. So we're gonna have a brand new baby of whatever that blue girl is. And she's growing from here. So I'm gonna keep watering these guys regularly. And I really hope that in these other points, more will grow out. So all you can do is wait and see but it's likely to happen that you can get more. So I'm gonna wait, but I wanted to show that to you guys and let you know an update on my beheaded succulents and how they were doing because I did it on December 8th, it's January 2nd, and I'm gonna plant these guys up except for this one, I'm gonna wait. I, I could plant this one and just water it and hope for the best, but I think I'd prefer to wait until there are roots. So I'm gonna do that with that one. But these two guys, they're gonna get water tonight because I want them to keep going. So that's my update. I'm glad you guys are watching. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna be doing a lot more videos on propagation, on growing from seed and many other things that I do here in the greenhouse. You guys know I have like a million things. Here's some of my cacti I finally potted up that have been out in the yard forever. Oh, there's my, hi guys. But anyway, it's raining outside. It feels great in here, it's so warm. And I wanted to show you guys what's going on. So here's my babies. Here's my newest babies, and I hope you guys had a happy new year, and I can't wait to make another video. So subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.